Can you explain what that is there, Joyce? This is just a monitor strip. I'm not very familiar with them right now. Uh, we just started up here, but this just shows the patient's heart. Can you, can you make that over there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't think you could. So what are all those four things up there? Take me a while to explain them to you. Do you mean on the one or the four? Mm -hmm. This is each patient. Right? Oh, yeah. This is patient in room number five. Your heartbeat? Room number seven. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. What's that noise there now? That's not at this end. It's in the alarms down there. <laughs> So everybody's still okay? Everybody's okay. That's good. So how long has this course been? Up here? No, all together. Three how many years? years? A three-year mm -hmm. course. So I'll see your UPEI yeah, first, too. So. so you're just about finished? Just about finished Tuesday. Tomorrow's the last day to wear blue. Was it a me. hard course? Like, was it a long time? A lot of studying. A lot of studying. It'd be nice to have that part of it over. And did you ever think it would be over? There were days when I didn't think it would ever end. Mm -hmm. But when you look back at it, it really went fast, too, because you were so busy the whole time. It just flew by, really. But What did you find the hardest about the course? Mm -hmm. For me, personally, I think it was just that there was so much studying involved. And when you're at home and you're married, then you don't have too much time left to yourself by the time you look after home and study the rest of the time. So. Do you get to know personally any of the patients? Oh, lots of them. Lots of them. And I lived in Charlottetown all my life, so I knew a lot of them before they landed in the hospital, which is kind of nice, too. Mm -hmm. So what does the future hold now? Where are you going, do you know? I hope to work here at QE. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's hard to say. There'd be lots of call work, I understand, but mm -hmm. other than that, it's hard to tell. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. Yeah, Would you do it all again now after three years? <laughs> it's a bad day to ask, a bad time to ask, but I'm so glad to be finished. <laughs> I don't know. The first and second year were really hectic. You were at the books so very much then, and this year wasn't nearly as bad. I enjoyed this year better because you were working all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd want to go through that first and second year again or not. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then thank you very much and Thanks. good luck. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Audrey Anders, and she's a third-year student nurse that's going to be graduating next week. She's giving me a report on some of our progressive care patients this afternoon. This is just an update on the patients here. It's an afternoon report, and it's an update on the patients. Like Mr. Smith, um, how is his pain today? He would had no pain all day. He had a really good day. And how is Mrs. Renetta Names Watts doing? <laughs> He's having a good day. A bit of chest pain early this morning, but passable in nitro. Uh, Audrey, mm -hmm. you've uh, been in here three years now, taking this uh, nurse's course. Uh, how do you feel now that it's just about over? Excited but scared. <laughs> was it hard? Yeah. What was hard about it? The studying and learning new things. You think you know a lot about different things, but you find out that you don't know a thing about anything right quick. What did you enjoy most about it? Working with the patients. Do you get to know them? Mm-hmm. Usually. Mm -hmm. If you've worked with them any length of time, you get to know them. So what are you going to do after next week when you graduated? <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> um, Sleep for three years? I Yeah. I plan to work here at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Okay. Thank you. And good okay. luck. <laughs> Thank you. My name's Donna McCausland, and I'm from Parkdale, PCI. And how have you found your three years? Great experience, really good learning. Mm -hmm. Would you do Very it again? Enjoyable. I think so, if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you don't think you're going to get through? I'm planning on it. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there now? I'm just drawing up some bacterial static sodium chloride. And what's it going to be used for? Like Just an injection. So uh, what was the best thing that happened to you over the three years? Oh, there have been many good things happened. Can you Developed. remember anything that happened that was sticks out in your memory? Is something great that happened? Nothing really over overall. Over years? So, met a lot of people. Very nice people and developed some good relationships. You mean with the people that you work with or yes. the patients? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. So do you know what you're going to be doing after you're finished, graduating? Uh, yes, I'm planning on going to Dalhousie University for the next three years, hopefully to achieve my BN. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Vicki from Summerside. And how was your three years? 
fun. <laughs> it's long. <laughs> it hard work? Yeah, a lot of tired. A lot of studying to it. Yeah. But well, what were some of the things that you did? You know, that you found, uh, you know, different things that you never done, never did before. Surgery. You get to go watch surgery. Um, outpatient department. Were you surprised at yourself that you didn't faint when you Not saw really. all this? No. Some blood never did bother me. <laughs> didn't bother? <laughs> no, it hasn't. <laughs> What didn't you like about the course? If you could change it, what didn't you like? Is there some? Is it the hard uh -huh. hours or the long hours or what? Or was there anything really that's? Well, there's not really one thing. You, things you can say you don't really like because when you look back at it, you need it. Like the mm. sure, it's, it's long hours. There's a lot of study into it. But you you need it to end up as an RN. What you want to do? Yeah. Is there any department of the hospital that you liked working in best? Pediatrics, obstetrics. Right, right where you are now. <laughs> right where I am now. I can't Why find is any that? kids. I enjoy children. I always have. So, what do you do after you graduate? Hmm. I don't really know. I think I'll stay in the island until after Christmas, and then I don't know where I'm going. Maybe down south. <laughs> take it a little, Take it easy after three hard, long years. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> is there anything you want to say to your fellow graduates, to your fellow girls? Good luck. <laughs> And where are you from, Diana? I'm from Ewig. Ewig. Ewig, yes. <laughs> and now that you're just about finished the nurse's course, how do you feel? Very happy. Oh, I'm glad to be done. <laughs> Why? It's been long. It's been really, it's been a long three years, busy years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be nice to be finished. And what are you going to remember about your three years? Oh, the fun and the, the learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any department that you specifically like working in? Pretty well, I like them all. I think I'd like to work mostly in surgery, but uh, I like them all. In surgery, isn't there a lot of blood? Oh, no, not really. <laughs> just no. A, just a common misconception? Yeah. Blood doesn't sure. bother you? No. No, it's not been which, too bad. Which are harder, the older patients or the younger ones? Oh, probably the younger ones are easier. Easier, yeah. why? Well, they're easier to pick up and hold, cuddle. You can't do that with the older ones. Mm -hmm. uh, have you had any sad things happen while you, in your three years? Actually, no, not really. I've been fortunate that way. Mm -hmm. It's pretty well always been good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So you, most of your memories will be happy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to say to your girls, your friends, your graduates? <laughs> well, no, not really. Just looks like we made it, girls. Okay, thank you and good luck. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Karen Sims, student where, RN. Where are you from, Karen? Dunstaffage. And what about you over there, Bonnie? <laughs> My name's Bonnie Aiken. I'm from Fortune Ridge. Now that your three years is just about over, how do you feel? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> relieved. <laughs> Why would you be relieved? Didn't you have a good time? Oh, yeah, sure. but it's nice having it all over yeah, it's three years. I asked one girl if there was anything uh, that sad that had ever happened, you know, like with the patients. Is there anything with you girls, you know, sad that's happened? I had a patient die, I mean, second year. Mm -hmm. Do you get to know them enough that you know that, well, I, I guess... I knew him before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so yeah like first and second year, you get to know the patients a lot more than you do in third year. You don't, like in third year, you're responsible for more patients, so you don't like have the time with them that you do in first and second, so I think it kind of hits you harder first yeah. and second year. It must hurt when, you know, somebody you know that you've been taken care of and that's it. Yeah. So can you think of anything happier that happened? President's life. <laughs> what? Life at the residence. Oh, that's happy, it? was never it? dull. <laughs> so yeah. what are both of you going to be doing? Uh, as soon as you graduate, do you know where you'll be working, if you will be working? No, we don't know yet. Hope to work in Surrey if I can. Mm -hmm. Just uh, on call. What about you, Karen? I hope to stay on here. Hope Is there anything you want to say to your girlfriends, your uh, fellow graduates? Any last words you'd like to give them? <laughs> Best of luck in the future. <laughs> yeah. Will you miss them? Oh, sure. sure. Hope to keep in touch with everybody. Mm -hmm. Planning for our fifth year. Yeah, <laughs> Get I'm to get a, I'm already. 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 Are you? <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, and I guess you'll be looking forward to uh, 
Bernie and your blues. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Monday night. <laughs> well, we'll be there. Okay. Okay. Thanks and good luck. Bye bye. Bye. Just passing the afternoon medications. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Lorraine? Southport. How did they go? I had a good three years. They went by really mm -hmm. fast, and I really enjoyed them. Really? Yeah. You're not just saying that, eh? No, I'm not lying yet. <laughs> okay. Why did you decide to get into nursing? Because I have sisters that are nurses, and I pretty well know know what to expect, and I thought I'd like it. You knew what you were getting into then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you're going to remember about this course? What are you going to... Remember how hard it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. That there was a lot of studying. No, that seems um, to be what everybody's saying. They must work you like dogs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then you get your class spirits and you manage to get out a bit. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you're going to be doing after this course? Do you know whether you have a job or...? No, um, summer positions aren't posted yet. Like, um, we all applied for summer positions, whether we'll get them or not. There's still a lot of grads from last year looking mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. Is there anything special, like happy, that you remember about the course, like being in the hospital here? Is there any good memories you have of it? Oh, there's always patients that you remember and like to see again. I think the patient I remember the most is the um, first one I sat with up in labor and delivery and just how exciting it was, like just mm -hmm. sitting with her through the whole thing and the was excitement. Was that the first birth you had ever witnessed? Mm. Yeah. So what did you think? Pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there anything you want to say to your fellow graduates? We made it. <laughs> That's about it. Okay, thank you, and good luck. Let thank me get you back much. to work. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm Diane Frazier from Somerville. And how was your three years, Diane? Well, they were a long three years in a way, but when I look back, they really went quickly. And I'm married with two small children, so it was quite an effort at times. But Must have been hard. It was hard at times, but I'm seeing the, the end of the course now, and it's really rewarding to feel that I've gotten through it and hopefully will be an RN after the exams. Mm -hmm. What did you so, like about the course? I think what attracted me to nursing was the, just the contact with people, especially somebody sick, being able to help them and see them get well in a lot of cases and go home and the reward you get from that. Mm -hmm. Do you get to know the patients personally? Uh, a number of times I've had patients I knew personally. Uh, others like Lewis I just met from working with them in the hospital. But um, usually you do if you have them a number of days, get to know them very well and get a good relationship going with them. So uh, what are you going to remember most about the uh, three years? Oh, that's difficult to say. It'll probably not be just one thing. It'll be just uh, getting to know a lot of new people. and. Uh, just generally the whole experience of going back to school and learning new things, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you and good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. My name is Mary Byrne. I'm from Royal Rear. <laughs> what made you decide to take the nursing course? Um, well, I wasn't content originally with what I was doing before and I always liked the idea of nursing. So then when I tried it, I really enjoyed it. Did you have any apprehensions before going into it? Like, you know, a lot of people are afraid of blood, or like myself. But did you have any worries about it, or...? Not really worries. I mean, there was things that you probably did think of as, like, can I handle this, or, you know, I saw something that would be a little gory, how would you handle mm -hmm. that? But and how did you handle it? Uh, the first couple of times I fainted after that, I got long grade. Oh, gee, someone that's gonna, going to admit that they fainted when they <laughs> at the sight of blood. <laughs> What were uh, some of the highlights that you'll remember, like the happier things you'll remember of the course after three years? I guess a couple of the highlights are probably a couple of the patients that I ended up getting really close to. And like even today we call back and forth and I go to visit them and you know they're just like friends that I've had for quite a while. Mm -hmm. But as far as like one big major happening, I can't say that there really, yeah. really was anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty good all the way through. Looking ahead now, what do you see that you'll be doing? You know, after you finish this course? Um, well, my interest is of this year certainly lies in surgery, like I lurked, liked working on a surgery unit. Um, I tend to think that maybe in four or five years' time, maybe I may go back to university and get my degree. I've been thinking of that, 
right now I'm just not ready for it. Four years of study is enough for a while, but I have thought of that. Okay, is there anything you'd like to say to your fellow classmates before you leave? You're done good. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Awesome. Right. And you know, the coach is my awesome. Okay, maybe we'll start from you. How did you how was your course this year? Or these past few years? Challenging. What did you find hard about it besides working with these wonderful girls? The work and studying. All the tests. Do you have a job lined up? Hopefully. Hopefully? No word yet. No word yet. Okay, thank you. Yeah. How are you, Brian? How are you? Good. How do you feel after three years, finally? Is it hard uh, not living with, but working with these girls? You did live with us. <laughs> you did live with them. <laughs> That's why you're smiling. Family show, eh? Leona is nice. Leona? Personal. Personal. And where are you from? And how did your three years go? Is there any word to describe how they Slow. went? Slow? Was it hard? A tough time. Getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning. How many days a week did you have to do that? <laughs> Two or three. And now it's four o'clock. Leona, whatever made you decide to get into nursing of all things? <laughs> the money, was it? Or? I don't know. Any idea? No? <laughs> What did you say? Maintenance was full. <laughs> okay, thank you. And what's your name over there? Nancy Webster. Nancy, how are you? Good. What made you get into nursing? Maintenance. <laughs> did you, uh, I was talking to somebody earlier, and they said that uh, they fainted a couple of times. the first time they saw a lot of blood. What about you? Did it bother you? No. No? Blood doesn't bother you? When you see it's in the OR and you don't have room to paint. <laughs> Everyone's around you. <laughs> you have machines all around you. What are you going to remember about this year or your three years? Probably tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> are you glad it's all over? Yeah. Do you have a job yet? or? Um, I'm going to Australia in October. Not for a job, just to get away? No, for a job. Oh, you do have a job in Australia. <laughs> You're lucky. Okay, if you'd like to introduce this pretty girl next to you. This gorgeous girl beside me, outgoing, is Lynette Pinot. And she doesn't want to talk, right? She talks a lot. Where are you from? Where are you from? Prince Edward Island or Nova Scotia? Yeah, that's a trick question. Okay, probably a question everybody's waiting and dying to ask you. Did you ever work at the Lobster Suppers? Five years. Good. See? There, free advertising now. <laughs> okay, and what about this final girl over here? Michelle Doucette. And where are you from, Michelle? Murray River. Do you have any original, uh, something you can tell me why you got into nursing? <sighs> There's nothing else to do. What do you mean, nothing else to do? Well, there was nothing else I wanted to do or thought about doing, so I thought I'd give it a try. Was it a hard three years? I found it by times, yeah. What memories are you going to come away with? Living with Leona for four years. <laughs> I don't mean sad memories, I mean happy. No, those are happy. Those are happy. Okay. Yeah. And um, you get just, you know, meeting my goals type of thing. What were your goals? Getting through each day. <laughs> Okay, maybe you can tell people what's planned for tonight. For tonight? Oh, did you stick anybody else this question? No. <laughs> tonight is just the banquet, and then after the banquet, we will burn our uniforms. Those are your blues. Our blues. Right? Yep. And just parade around Charlottetown, make a noise. <laughs> make lots of noise. Make lots of noise. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> and what was that? A free drink at every, pla at every bar. Is that right? So we follow that's you. What, that's what I was told. And you believe that? <laughs> that's the only reason she's I have nursing. high hopes. For three years, she's worked hard just so she gets that free Yeah, you drink. can you can follow us a bit. We will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. where's trade winds and avenues and all those places? 
This sounds like a commercial, so we better say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Okay, thanks and good luck. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Frank Nicholson, Charlottetown. What are you going to remember most about your three years that you can the day tell it us? ended? <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to your classmates? You know, some final well, words. Well, they've been fun to be with. I really enjoyed them. Uh, I have three daughters, so I kind of use them as an idea of what I'm in for about 15 when they get years older. from now. Yeah. I guess you're in trouble. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually quite pleased with really what uh, kind of looking forward to it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks very much and yeah. good luck. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, and how do you feel now that your three years is over? Excited. <laughs> what are you going to remember most about your three years? Uh, the good times, the closeness we had with each other. We helped each other through it. Are you going to keep in touch with all your girlfriends? Definitely, for our five year reunion. Oh, you've already planned, started planning? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. What do you have planned for tonight? Lots of booms and a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, okay. Nurses don't generally do that, do they? No, we're no, very professional This is a once in a people. lifetime and probably you'll never do it again. And or maybe once not. in a while. Yeah. Okay, thanks and good luck. Thank you. I'm Diane Mernion and I'm from Mermaid. And to my left... Can you introduce me to these wonderful ladies? Yes. To my left is Barbie Karens. Where is she from? Barbie's from Crossroads. And next to Barbie is Don Kerher. And Don is from Southport. Nice place. <laughs> next to Don is Barbie Corrigan. And Barbie's from Pleasant Grove. And next to Barbie is Joanne Soy, and Joanne's from Cornwall. It's Mrs. Meredith Garnham, <laughs> and Meredith's from Charlottetown. The third year went fast, the first two years went rather slow. <laughs> Why did it go so slow? It was just, just too much studying. <laughs> no. Are you glad you're through? Very glad. <laughs> you gonna remember all these girls you've met? Oh yes, never forget a name. <laughs> And we'd like you to let everybody know what they are when you open them. Please? Um, come on up here. Can you come up here as your names are called, please? Hilda Koch. This is to, this is to the girl who preps her patients better than her legs. Thank you.
you see it happen to my last one. <laughs> <laughs> Always cold. She's never, never warm enough. She always needs an extra blanket around her when she's in the TV lounge, and so on. Karen Sims. <laughs> Eight quilts in the winter and seven in the summer. <laughs> everybody's heard that the person saw her say this but this one who is for the most therapeutic nurse and she's always saying oh really you know oh really ah. it's Beth McCarver <laughs> Uh, it's a little thing with two little bears to talk, and I thought this is Beth talking to her patient. <laughs> <laughs> this is for one of the girls, and it says to help you spend more time at home in Surrey with your new man, Bonnie Aiken. <laughs> Okay, now we have some presentations to the instructors and Miss Dewar and sister. So I'll call upon uh, Brian. No, not Brian. <laughs> Who's ever doing sisters? I forget. I'm sorry. Who's ever doing sisters? I'll call upon them first. Oh, Brian, I'm sorry. Presentation here for uh, Sister Mary Gabriel. Uh, it's a lady I think we've all grown to respect over the last three years, and she's gained all our admiration. So, Sister, here's... enthusiastic 
about a lot of the content that we covered in class. When you prepared thoroughly the legal articles that you presented, one of, uh, I think, my favorite, uh, or one of the things that will be most memorable to me was, and I'm not even sure who it was, but was the student who arose in a class which was being given on assertiveness training and informed the instructor very gently and very kindly that she in fact was not assertive but being manipulative. And I think that will be one of my favorite memories for a long time to come. Um, Several years ago, actually, when uh, you people were in first year, I was talking to somebody in a very casual conversation about the fact that I was going to take a year off to study. And Charlene, your very wise president, said, oh, don't do it till we get through third year. We, we would really like to have you around for third year. And I think you would miss something if you uh, <laughs> I can only uh, tell you how wise she was, and I would have missed a great deal had I not stayed around in third year. I wish you all the very best of luck, and thank you very much. remembered in a very unique way and I hope when you get away you'll think of me and let me know what you're doing and what you're up to and I, I know the Summerside girls I know a lot better than the Charlottetown girls but I'm still very interested in hearing about you and Frank's laughing back there I'll remember, I'll remember Frank <laughs> especially for our human sexuality class <laughs> special person who has stood by us all year, who has taught us an awful lot, who's always there when we needed her. This is the day. Thank you very much. I guess I'm really surprised after all the nags you didn't want to give you. <laughs> you were certainly a great bunch of of students and I enjoyed working with you. If there was one wish I would like to see you carry with you is that you never stop caring, not just for your patients but for one another. And I and I'm sure everyone at this table certainly care that you pass your our ends and that we keep in touch in the future. Thank you. I get quite emotional, <laughs> uh, as you don't know. But I really enjoyed uh, my students, and I enjoyed third year. And I, each year, um, at the end of the year, think, well, should I continue on in this business? Because I'm getting pretty old in this business. <laughs> and but um, at the end of the year, I think, well, I have a new group of students. I wonder what they're going to be like. But each group, I enjoy. Um, each person in the group and enjoy them very, very much. And I uh, think I would miss you terribly. <laughs> so I really enjoy it. And thank you very much. And I wish you all the best in the years to come. And I hope that we'll keep in touch. And uh, all the best. Thank you very much. Well, 
me to speak. Um, <laughs> we have something to admit. <laughs> you guys are going to die when you hear this. <laughs> Uh, remember first year on St. Patrick's Day, how everything turned uh, green? <laughs> we knew it. We were the best for Cubs. <laughs> and we just did it to for badness. <laughs> you she wouldn't believe it. Four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how hard it is to get green dye off when you go on awards the next day, too. Uh, we just did it because we, we saw it fun. We're Irish, so <laughs> all the way. <laughs> And we thought that you guys deserved to know who did it. <laughs> and I don't live at the same address anymore. Recently <laughs> moved. You and I can stand. Yeah, I think we're going to finish presenting our little awards. <clears throat> this first one is for, well, we what we uh, thought in the Charlottetown area anyway, to one of the smartest persons in our class, and this is just a little something to help her look down upon the rest of us, <laughs> for Joyce Simpson. <laughs> summertime when it's snowing out. She even wears them so much that there's little her little toe sticks out sometimes. <laughs> so this is for Mary Ann. <laughs>
essays and so on more legible. Muriel. <laughs> How she did it because I can't do it with just myself. <laughs> Joanne Waddell. <laughs> to update their system, replace phone booths, etc., etc. Audrey and storytelling, one of our many storytellers in our class, and it's just a little something to assist her in the art of storytelling, <coughs> Mary Byrne. <laughs> Of the best dressed classmate, Barbie Karen. <laughs> 
person who is said to have said it all. What else can we say after this? He's one of the better storytellers in our class as well, Frank. <laughs> to help her be more prompt in attending our classes and sessions and so on. Claire Hickey. <laughs> Okay. 
made a mistake once, I thought I did, but I was wrong. <laughs> Honeymooner Award, and it's just a little note to leave on your door when you're not up to visitors. Congratulations, Laura. Yeah.
girls who we sometimes felt spent a lot more time away from the residents than in residence, as there were always those few girls, especially from down Montague Way. And this is just to help her keep a better eye on what happens and to keep the more enlightened, you know, of exactly what's happening and what we do for nightlife back at the residence, okay? Judy Fleming. <laughs> She wanted to see him right away because he was waiting for her, or she was disgusted that he was a farmer. <laughs> but anyway, this is for Sharon McIver. <laughs> She always has nice long earrings because her hair is nice and long and you can't see them, so she has to wear these big ones. We thought we'd add to her collection, Michelle. <laughs>
she always has somebody new and different and cute and everything. So this is for Joanne. So I. <laughs> She'll travel anywhere. So, I mean, I've been driven, driving with her for the last four years. And let me tell you, she's the best driver I've ever been with. Fantastic. <laughs> Certainly not least for our new little farmer, Charlene. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> this is to all of us. We just found it back there now. I think it might have, should have been on the table all evening, but it's to the School of Nursing graduates of 1985 from the Prince Edward Island Nurses Union. Oh, wow. I uh, partly agree with everyone's uh, thoughts to each one of you, but especially to Shirley. I remember so well when somebody came up, or I guess Shirley came up herself and told me she was present, and I thought, oh, the poor little tyke, she's the smallest one in the class. <laughs> But she's done one excellent job, and I certainly feel that you want to go now and to her. Uh, I can forget about that TV. Uh, if you ever, you probably watch the Academy Awards, and they call out somebody's name, and they get up, and they dig in their pocket, and they say, you know, I really had a few words ready. By the way, they're unprepared, but uh, the other day, Sylvia said to me, I think, I don't know whether I should tell a joke on that. <laughs> uh, Sylvia said to me, maybe you should say a few words to them. They never really hear you, your views to them. And I thought, well, maybe I could put a few words together and say them to them tonight. Uh, as I did, I thought to myself, I probably shouldn't go into too much detail. And I always thought of, right away of a joke I used to tell when I taught pediatrics. Uh, I don't know, it's all right, I guess, Frank. Uh, it was about this little boy that came running in one day to his dad, and he said, Dad, where did I come from? And the father said, oh, heavens, here we go. And he gave him this big, long lecture on sites and all where he came from, and the little kid didn't seem to be too interested, and the dad said to him, why are you, why did you ask me that? He said, oh, well, <clears throat> Tommy said that he came from St. John, and I wondered where I came from. <laughs> so I too much to say a few words to you, but I did say to myself the other day, just what could I think about? And on my desk, underneath the blotter, I have two little cards that I don't even know where I got them, to tell you the truth. I probably took them out of somebody else's card in the beginning. One of them says, I am different from you. We were born involved in one another. It's an old Chinese proverb. And the other one is anonymous, and it says, laughter is God's hand on the shoulder of a troubled world. You probably would wonder why I would pick two verses like that, talking to a graduating class of 1985. But I just thought if, if you look at them, uh, when you look at nursing, how different, the different people you've met, the different backgrounds they come from, the different needs that they have had, and you as nurses have to try to become involved with them to help them to become better people and healthy people. Uh, one of the biggest assets I think that man or woman can have is the ability to laugh or to enjoy. Um, I think I've probably told you this before, talking sometime to you way back that first day that I probably speak to everybody, nobody remembers a word that I say. Uh, my idea of a nurse, and I think when you are young, like you people are, uh, pleasant, happy, and you go into the patient's room, I think that's one of the biggest assets that the hospitals or any institution that's giving care to people. Uh, I think one of the biggest things that people look for is somebody that can smile. And I hope that's what you will continue to be as you go through life. Now I'll go back to that September day that when you came in in September, I got up and I talked about a few things, and I think some people remember and some people don't. I think I wrote them on the blackboard that we were all born with two drives. I don't know how many can remember it, or probably one was to love and the other was to be loved. Remember me saying that to you, writing it on the blackboard? Um, I went on for a lot of details those days, which I won't do tonight, that about if you rode around the park and all those kind of things, and you remember me describing those to you, what I want tonight. Um, but I think that you will re really look back on your nursing career as we went over it with you that day or tried to talk about the courses. We tried to get you prepared so that you would be people that could go into the hospital well prepared to be nurses 
and to show love and to be able to be accepting of love. And I hope over the three years that has become part of you and that you will continue to be the fine nurses as I wrote on my card that you are today. One final word just before I sit down. I forgot to take my little pad that I usually take up with me with all the directions for, for the Confederation Center. That's what old age does to you. And when you get to be the 12th graduation, I guess you don't really need a pad to tell you what to do. Uh, one of the things I will say, and you probably will hear it from both speakers tomorrow night, is try to keep in mind uh, keeping yourself up to date. One of the things that graduation doesn't mean that you're finished, you're just starting really on, on a profession that's highly regarded in life. Keep, become a part of your membership, of your association if you remain on the island, or if you're not on the island. Continue to read magazines. I mean, not, you know, true romances and those, but like uh, <laughs> nursing magazines to keep yourself up to date. And think very, very strongly of going on for your degree in nursing, a stage that you should be getting ready for the career of nursing. And as you see, when you look back, when I look back over the 12 or 13 years that I've been in the school, at the vast changes we have done even in our own program, then if you try to look ahead 15 years, you can see the vast changes that will be coming in nursing in the year 2000. So I would recommend, yes, any of the people that can to try to start thinking about it and going on. Not that I don't think you've come through a good program, and I've said that probably a lot of people know we're doing a nursing education study on PEI, or we just completed it, and one of the things I kept maintaining all through the, the research was that I would like to see a degree program started at UPEI, but I would hope that we wouldn't lose the best of what we have expanding it into an educational program. I have to go back to my paper. I forgot my last line, and I kind of thought it was important, but at least I'm going to put it down there. I thought it was important. Yeah, we've got to go back. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thank you. My last words were, I, I'll repeat a little bit of it, because I knew I had said it. Become a part of your association. Be an active member. Keep reading journals, etc. to cut, keep card with the changes in nursing. And above all, be yourself. Kind, caring, and happy nurses. May God bless you.
and I don't drink. We don't believe it. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Oh, I just stuck it in there, but I don't think I'm safe. I don't think it's The class of 86 isn't going to do anything silly like this, are you? Well, last night, a strange parade with car horns blasting and girls screaming and waving made its way through the streets of Charlottetown. The occasion? Well, it was all part of the graduating celebrations of the PEI School of Nursing and the traditional burning of the blues. To find out more about the celebrations, Pat Martell spoke with the coordinator of the third year nursing program at the school, Sylvia Mulligan. What is the burning of the blues? Well, I have been trying to do a quick poll here amongst the senior people uh, who are present to find out when exactly the burning of the blues started and I know for sure that it goes back at least 30 years and basically what it consists of is actually burning of the blue uniforms which after tonight of course will no longer be worn. Today marked the last day that they wore blue and they celebrate the event of coming out of the blue into the white by actually burning the uniforms. Mm -hmm. Apart from the fun that's associated with it that burning of the blue uniforms are, is a very symbolic event in that it marks a very heavy three-year course of study. Nursing programs today are really rough. They are heavy. There's a lot of content. There's a lot of theory. There's a lot of technology. There are a lot of skills. And it really is a very heavy course. And what else are they going to do besides burning the blues? If the citizens of the city hear these interesting, strange noises, it's actually only the students having been very uh, ladylike and having enjoyed a very lovely banquet this evening are now going to let loose and they're going to sort of let up, let out some of the pent up joy and energy that they've been containing and uh, they're going to have a parade through the city and then they're going out to Victoria Park and they've done it all properly. They have police escort and they've got fire department uh, permission to have a bonfire and actually burn their blue uniforms. So we wish them all well. They certainly deserve this celebration. They've worked very hard and uh, you know nursing is a very difficult career. It's not an easy job. Anybody who thinks that the glamour of uh, General Hospital or other shows uh, is certainly misled. Nursing is very hard work. They've worked very hard, and they will continue to work very hard, and we're very proud of them. Can I ask you what burning in the blues means to you? The end of a hard, long school year. Are you glad it's all over? Oh, you want to believe it? <laughs> it's crazy. It's great. Can you tell, tell me what everybody's doing here tonight? Well, we're just decorating up the cars with our with our uniforms that we've worn for the past three years. So all those things hanging off the cars are all blue uniforms. And old worn-out nylons with more rips in them than you can tell, and shoes that are gone to pieces, yeah. Everything and anything we could put on. I guess everybody's happy to be all done. Ecstatic would be a better word. It's been crazy. It's great. As you can hear in the background. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We're getting pretty uh, warmed up for the night. Okay, thanks, and good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody say say. <laughs> and what are you doing on top of this car? I'm helping to celebrate the burning of the blues. <laughs> How do you feel? It's all over now. You're burning your blues. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> That's good. What about you? Fantastic! These graduates are actually dancing in the streets of Charlottetown tonight. So we'll leave them. From the grads of 1985, I'm Pat Martell for Island Report.
Good luck, Pat. Wow. Well, we thank the nurses for helping chase away our blues this morning. This is the final item on our program. We thank you very much for sharing part of your day with us at 96.9 FM. Before we leave this notice of the mother...